clear as a tall grass prairie. This is the buff buffalo roundup. Actually, it is the bison roundup since these animals are technically bison. We visited the annual bison roundup and learned so much that it is hard to know where to start. But let's start with what is the tall grass prairie? Because that is the key to understanding it all. At one time, the tall grass prairie spanned 14 states and into Canada. Less than 4% remains, most of which only in small parcels. The tall grass prairie is named for the tall grasses that dominate the land. This ecosystem has many kinds of species, including over 700 plants, 300 birds, and 80 mammals. The Joseph H. Williams Tallgrass Prairie Preserve is the largest protected tallgrass prairie on Earth. It is located in northeast Oklahoma near Pawhuska and protects about 40,000 acres of land. It is owned and managed by the Oklahoma Nature Conservancy, which has been working to protect it since 1989. One mammal in particular is vital to managing the remaining tall grass prairie, the bison. Grazing bison aerate the soil, leaving shallow divots for seeds, spread seeds, create wallows that turn into small ponds, and help manage plant life through their natural diets. 99% of what a bison eats is grass. Cattle, on the other hand, may have 15-20% to 20 of their grazing diets that come from broadleaf plants. Having bison herds graze these lands preserves the plant diversity on the prairie. They also remove woody plants by rubbing against them. The, na the Nature Conservancy uses the bison to manage the prairie for long-term pr preservation. They also use fire and prescribed burning, but we'll save that for another time. Today, we are talking about the mighty bison. At one time, there were an estimated 30 million bison across the Great Plains. By the late 1800s, there were less than a thousand. Oklahoma played a key role in saving bison with the first National Preserve for Bison in 1907 in the Wichita Mountains. Today, there are about 350,000 bison. The Nature Conservancy has 12 grassland preserves with a total of 6,000 bison. The largest of those herds is kept to a controlled size of around 2,500 bison at the Joseph H. Williams Tallgrass Preserve, and that's where we watch the annual roundup. For most of the year, the bison are free to roam the preserve. But once each fall, the bison are rounded up and brought into a set of working pens for medical checks, vaccinations, and culling. Bison are big. Bison are tough. Bison can be stubborn. They don't round them up by pushing them with, with horses, ATVs, or helicopters. Instead, they pull the, them in with cow cube treats. Trucks blast a siren that bison can hear from miles away. They are smart animals and all of the bison who have been through roundups before know that the siren means treats. Cattle cubes. Bison love them. Rewarding them with these treats, they move them into smaller pastures closer to the working pens. A crew of Nature Conservancy staff and area cowboys work the roundup. Each morning, they move three to five hundred head of bison from the holding pasture to the working pens. It's a shorter distance and smaller area, 
so they are able to push them with a wall of trucks. The pins are designed with two things in mind. One, they have to be heavier built than normal cattle working pins because the bison are so strong. These things are solid. Two, and most importantly, they want to minimize stress on the animals. From pin layouts to the chutes and how they move the animals through are designed to make it as easy as possible on the animals. Once the animal enters the squeeze chute, the goal is to process them in one minute or less. The animal is weighed, given medicines, visually examined, and ear tags checked or added. The ear tag contains information specific to that an animal, including age, sex, and weight. Tags can be read with a special wand. The target herd size is 2,500, but of course, every year new calves are born. So at the roundup, they also cull part of the herd. The culled animals are sold off. Bulls are normally sold at 6 to 7 years of age, and cows at 10 to 12 years of age. We mentioned the need for rugged working pens. The bulls can reach 6.5 feet tall and 2,000 pounds. They can jump up to 6 feet high and 7 feet horizontally. They can run 35 miles per hour. It's in everyone's interest to get these animals cared for and on their way. I help to tell the bulls which way to go. After the roundup, the bison spend the rest of the year roaming the prairie. They eat 30 pounds of grass a day and drink water from the streams and ponds on the prairie. No supplemental feed is given, but salt and trace minerals are provided. Visitors to the prairie can drive a 15-mile loop looking for groups of bison. There are many reminders that these are, these are wild animals and can be dangerous. So please visit these majestic animals, but respect their power and their home. And while you are there, enjoy the rest of the visitor areas of the, of the tall grass preserve. It's a wonderfully unique and special place. And preserve doesn't mean just holding on to something from the past. It's about protecting the future, too. This is my grandpa. He was born over 100 years ago and I never met him. But he used to tell my dad about riding across prairies with grass higher than his horse's belly. Thanks to the Joseph H. Williams Tar Tall Grass Prairies Preserve, those aren't just stories I get told. I can actually see those prairies with my dad. And someday, I'll bring my kids and grandkids here and tell them stories about their great-great-granddad. If you want to learn more and see some, some incredible photos, I recommend the book Visions of the Tall Grass by Mr. Harvey Payne. I got to meet him on my visit. He is a great storyteller. My favorite photo is this one of the bobcat, but you'll find many stunning, stunning pictures. Thank you, Oklahoma Nature and Conservancy, for what you are doing today and for tomorrow.